Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to Ras Aquaculture. Thank you for visiting us. I am Fatina. Some of you ask if infected crabs and shrimps can be treated and we heard you. Today, we will talk about ways to treat infected crabs and shrimps. Despite all the care and effort to ensure their well-being, of course, they can still be infected with diseases. Hmm, what diseases do crabs and shrimps frequently get? You might be wondering, how do we treat infected crabs and shrimps, right? Let's talk about crabs first. Crabs are often found to have diseases like WSSV, shell disease, and others. Shell disease is identified as erosion of the exoskeleton due to microbial action. This includes the discoloration on the shell that is caused by bacteria. We can use iodine to treat the crabs through this infection. Iodine is mostly sold in liquid form with different concentrations and is usually in dark brown color. It will penetrate through the bacteria's cell walls and kill them. Mind you, we cannot add iodine directly to rust or biofloc because it contains beneficial microbes. This is how we disinfect crabs through iodine treatment. We use iodine with 4 ppm concentration in the water and let the crab soak for one hour. How about shrimps? Common diseases in shrimp production include EMS, WSSV, AHPNS, IHHN, yellow head disease, etc. How to treat infected shrimps? Firstly, reduce the feeding. As we use biofloc technology for shrimp farming, it develops beneficial microbes that can be one of food sources to shrimp and also a potential to improve the water quality in the system by converting ammonia to nitrate. Microbial biomass, in conjunction with the biofloc, serves as a great feed supplement and produces active enzymes for the shrimp in the system. And therefore, it can reduce the FCR, which is feed conversion ratio. Secondly, we treat them using probiotics. It is another alternative for antibiotics to control pathogens. Probiotics improve the shrimp's health by increasing their resistance to bacterial, viral and parasitic infection as well as escalating their growth. Next, use organic acids. There are many organic acids that we can use to control Vibrio infection on shrimps. However, studies say the most effective way to inhibit Vibrio species growth is using formic acid. The way we do it, mix the formic acid with the shrimp pellet. The measurement is 6 gram per kilogram of the feed amount. Lastly, feed enzyme. The enzyme can boost nutrient density by releasing more energy, protein and minerals for absorption. It also improves the bioavailability of phosphorus and calcium, which is good for the shrimp's growth development. To add, the enzyme increases ingredient flexibility by using more plant-based components while maintaining the shrimp performance. The dosage for the enzyme is 0.4 gram per kilogram feed amount. In conclusion to our topic, yes, infected crabs and shrimps can be treated. That's all for today's video. Hopefully, it helps you to treat your crabs and shrimps. If you want to know more about aquaculture, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. You can check our free ebook and social media in the description box below. See you again soon. Bye.